Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. Well, over the last few weeks, life has really changed here in the United States. But for organizations that help out those in need, they, the work really does continue on. So Megan Herrera, the executive director from the Rainbow Network, is joining us today via Skype. Megan, thanks for being here. Uh, first of all, for those that don't know, explain what it is that the Rainbow Network does and how you guys are continuing your mission during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Sure. Well, thanks, uh, first of all, for having us. Um, just a recap, Rainbow Network is a Springfield-based nonprofit who has been working in Nicaragua for 25 years. Uh, this is our 25th year, and we were looking forward to so many uh, times uh, celebrating with our donors, um, and now that time has changed. What we do in Nicaragua is really provide that hand-up opportunity that the people need throughout the rural excuse me, throughout the rural areas. So right now we're working and partnering with 166 rural communities. That's about 59,000 people with medical clinics, feeding centers, uh, afternoon school programs for primary students, high school scholarships um, for the older children. Uh, we have a housing program and just really bringing the people together, teaching them how to work together to make their community a better place. How has the yeah. pandemic changed uh, your guys' work with, uh, with Nicaraguans? Sure. So, um, as we were talking, you know, thankfully, technology has made things a lot easier uh, nowadays. And so, I'm in constant contact with our team in Nicaragua. We have almost 60 staff that are on the ground in Nicaragua who are all Nicaraguans. And so, it doesn't require any of us to travel down there, but we're able to keep in contact via email, Skype, uh, WhatsApp, whatever it may be, just to keep up with everything that's going on. With the Springfield shutdown and now the Missouri shutdown, um, it has required our team to work from home, um, which we've been doing very well. And then in Nicaragua, our team has really uh, stocked up on the gloves, the masks, the hand sanitizer, and more, more than anything, just it's helped us uh, remember that the people in rural Nicaragua have nothing without Rainbow Network. So no food, no medicine, no school supplies, unless we're there. And so we're doing everything that we can to be out in the communities uh, regularly, distributing those supplies, being there um, to problem solve and help them work through issues and just make sure that uh, our work in the rural communities doesn't skip a beat. Absolutely. And uh, say, no matter what happens, you know, if services were to completely drop out for those folks in Nicaragua that you that you all serve, you know, what could possibly happen to them if it just all of a sudden just stopped? So what we see when we first go into communities is sometimes over 85 percent of the people are malnourished. No one is um, completing high school, let alone possibly not even primary school. And we really feel like without Rainbow Network um, being able to work in these communities that they would revert to those very hard times. Uh, Nicaragua has really been facing unrest since early 2018. And so the economy there was already struggling. The jobs were very far and few between. And so we had seen over the last two years um, just an increased need from the people for that food, for that medicine, for that school supplies that we were providing for these families. And uh, without that, it would be a huge struggle um, and really their life would be put on halt. Absolutely. Uh, how has uh, COVID-19 affected Nicaragua so far? Have they seen a, a lot of cases of the, uh, the virus there? So thankfully, uh, there have been a handful of cases in Nicaragua with a couple of deaths. Um, but really, you know, Nicaragua was one of uh, the later countries to have this virus um, hit them. And so they had seen it cross through the world. Um, they have a lot of connections to Spain and other European countries that got hit with this early. And so they saw the propaganda and saw how important social distancing was. And so you see streets, you see markets. Um, you see different areas, the cities uh, that used to have people flooding those areas, and now they're all staying home. And so regardless of what anyone from the government uh, is telling them, they are taking it upon themselves to stay quarantined um, and just to take every precaution that they can. They were wearing masks far beyond, far before when we were here uh, and, and taking that social distancing seriously. And so um, thankfully, 
due to those reasons, uh, the families have really not seen it as widespread as we do here. And that is one of the things too that our staff is, has implemented is just um, public health seminars, teaching them the symptoms uh, and how to treat that and making sure that anybody that might have some of those symptoms gets sent to the, the public hospital because it's far beyond what we could handle in our rural community clinics. And so just making sure that everybody's aware and uh, is getting taken care of. Absolutely. And just so these much needed items continue to make their way uh, to Nicaragua, what are some, some needs for your organization uh, right now and how can people at home connect with Rainbow Network? Sure. So we have everything. Um, we really need people's prayer, which doesn't take anything but a little bit of time. Um, we have uh, collections as you're cleaning out your closets to keep us in mind. During this downtime, we are always collecting shoes, clothes, school supplies, different things that might be needed by a family in the rural areas. And, and uh, you know, the big thing right now is cash. And thankfully, through the month of April, we have a dollar for dollar match up to $25,000. And so that is currently taking place. So anybody that would like to give all of our information, our collection sites are um, online giving is at rainbownetwork.org. And so people can visit there. We actually have some um, 25 ways to get involved. And so you can read through that list and, and maybe find something for you and your family to do um, during this downtime. Megan, thanks for coming on the show. We'll definitely be thinking of uh, you and your organization uh, going forward. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more Ozarks tonight right after this.